Okay, so in this problem we have our rocket, right? We're going to launch it up with an acceleration for three seconds, 20 meters per second squared for three, and then the jet shut off. It's going to reach its maximum, and then it's going to come back down. So you can uh, kind of break this up into three sections from the bottom to the top during the acceleration, right? What was our acceleration? 20. You can break it up once it's uh, stopped moving, right? So when it's not stopped moving, but um, until it stopped moving. So, and then all the way back down. So those would be the three situations I would look at. So let's just do this one. We're looking just to get to the max height. So to do that, if you just, if you sketch this picture, hopefully you can see, well, if I can find the distance till it shuts off and then the distance until it reaches the max height and add those two up, then I can get the total. And that's essentially what we're going to do. So we're going to get our A. Let's do the givens for the first part. We know the A we just said is 20. What's the V initial? Uh, zero. Zero. And then what's the other unknown? Or what's the other known? Time. Time. Okay, it said it's going to accelerate for three seconds, right? So there's our three, and hopefully, I think most of you at least got to that point, and you used your equation, and you found delta D, right? So we'll use, which one are we going to use here? Delta D equals V naught T plus one half A T squared. I guess since it's a video, I better do it. V O T one half A T squared. Okay, so set that up like that. Um, delta D equals zero plus one half. You're not using gravity here, you're using 20 times three squared. And what are you getting for D here? 90. 90. So that's from here to here, right? That's 90 meters from here to here. Okay? Now while we're at it, what else can we find? Final velocity. Final velocity. So let's go ahead and just do that. So at this point, we can use several equations. Which one is the best? So let's find the V final. So this will be the V final at this point right here. So that's going to be V initial is 0. And actually, we could do this in our head, right? 20 meters per second squared times 3 seconds is what speed? 60. So that means that's our speed at this moment right here. Okay, now we're going to go into the second part of the problem. And notice this is just like the warm up we did earlier. This would be like you throw it at 60, how high does it go? And so we did that problem earlier today. So let's go ahead and do that one. So this would be uh, VF. Now, what is VF going to be in the second part? What does that become? It's not called VF anymore. V initial. v initial. So the VF up to here would be now the V initial for the second part. So the V initial is 60. Anything else we know? Acceleration is 9.8. And what about the peak? We always know stuff at the peak. What's at the peak? Okay, V naught is zero at the peak. There's our three things, okay? So what equation is going to work for us? Vf squared one? Yeah. Okay. I think I'm not going to plug in the numbers. You can do this at this point. So plug in the numbers. Delta D is how much? 180. Okay, we'll just go to three digits. So we'll just say it's 184. Now that was this height right here, right? 184 meters. So the question's asking the max total height. What do we do with those two? Add them up. So we're gonna have 184 plus 90, 174, uh, 274. Max height. Good? Okay, for letter B, how long in the air? We're looking for a time here, right? We're looking for a time. Now, there's multiple ways you can solve this problem. Um, I'm going to treat it as kind of a little three-part problem. So if we can find the time from here to here, 
and if we can find the time from here to the top, and if we can find the time from the top back to the bottom, what can we do? Yeah, then we just add them all up, right? We'll just add them all up. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, remember, this set right here, these givens right here, this was from uh, you know, this point, I'll just call it the middle point to the top. So we now have four things. So we should have no problem getting the fifth. That's time, right? So let's use this one. VF equals VO plus AT. Zero at the peak. 60 initially. Negative 9, 8 times T. Solve for T. What do we get for T? So this would be the time from the middle all the way to the top, right? So how long did it take to get to the top? If I didn't ask this, but if I did, how long did it take to get all the way to the top? 6.12 plus 3, right? 9.12 to get all the way to the top. Now can we just say the time to the bottom is also 9.12? No, you cannot double it, okay? Because two things are they're different. This one has an acceleration of 20 and an acceleration of negative 9.8. But on the way down, what's the acceleration? Only one acceleration, negative 9.8. So you can't just say up equals down. They're not symmetrical on these two sides. So the final set we're going to do, final set of givens is going to be Um, well, let's do it. What's V initial? So this would be from the peak to the ground. Okay, V not a zero at the peak. Anything else we know? Acceleration is negative 9.8. Negative 9.8. We need one more. Good. So earlier we calculated the 274 height, or if you want to keep going, more than three digits, whatever it is, 274 height, and that's our delta D. And we should make this negative because we're coming back down. All right, now we'll use some equation to find um, time. Which one works for us here? Delta D equals V naught times time plus one half acceleration times three. So negative 274 equals zero plus one half negative 9, 8, t squared. And what'd you guys get for that t? 7.47. Okay. Last but not least, how do we find t total? <coughs> Add them all up. So 3 seconds for the first part, 6 for the second part, seven for the third part. And it's 16 point, so we'll just go to three digits. 16.6 .6 seconds is our total time.